prodigal returns. Welcome back to surgery. Yes, radiologist's loss is surgery's gain. Oh, I don't know. Maybe radiologist's loss is the mortuary's gain. <laughs> You're quite right. You know, it's a good job I'm assisting Duncan. I don't know much about it anymore. My dear boy, don't worry. I've managed a whole career without knowing anything about it. <laughs> the most difficult thing you have to do today is whip out an appendix. What's an appendix? <laughs> you better get scrubbed up. What's scrubbed up? <laughs> Paul, where have you been? I've got a dozen students waiting in there to watch me operate. All right. So I've been standing around like a prune for 15 minutes. All right. Well, hurry up, will you? They've already started giving me the slow hand clap. All right. It's all right saying all right, but it's not all right. All right. Right. Oh, lovely welcome back to surgery this is. Oh, no, I'm sorry, mate, but you know when I'm doing the list, I like everything to run smooth with. Oh, all right. Don't get your surgical knickers in a twist. <laughs> now, look, Paul, it's bad enough for you turning up late, let alone with those students watching. It's embarrassing for me, and, a, and it's a bad example for them. Now, you might not be a surgeon, but the least thing you can do is try and behave like one. <laughs> Such repartee. Please, this is an operating theatre. You're right! <laughs> Are you ready, Dr. Tuathon? I'm ready, Dr. Good. Waring. Fine, now we're going to do an appendicectomy. We will make the incision here, cut through the muscles there, and find the appendix. Then we will surgically remove the inflamed tissue. The inflamed what? Tissue. Bless you. <laughs> Paul, shut up. Now, where do we begin? Incisions, incisions. <laughs> Dr. Collier. Would you kindly leave the theatre? Didn't mean kindly leave the stage. <laughs> Get out. What? Your presence here is totally disruptive. This operation may seem routine to you, but it's rather important to the patients. Please leave now. Oh, come on, Duncan, I'm only joking. And don't bother to come back until you learn how to behave sensibly. Oh, get him. Christian Barnard of some Swithers. <laughs> Good night and thank you, Dr. Doolittle. Oh, right, now let's get on with it. Again, I'm sorry. But I've said forget it, so forget it. All right. But there was no need to chuck me out like that. But you were behaving like a three year old kid. Look, can't we forget it? All right, forget right. it. Right. Fine. Good. Go on. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> ah, wearing. Uh, you wanted to see me, sir? Yes, I'm going to a conference in three days' time, and I'll need an assistant. Oh, um, well, uh, uh... I'm reading a paper on vagotomies, and I want you to see that the slides are in the correct order and so forth. Yeah, well, I'd love to come, sir, good, but I thought... Good, good. Well, now, here's my manuscript. I've only just finished it. As soon as you've read it, give it back, and I'll get it typed. I'll see that you get the slides tomorrow. Now, this represents months of work, understand? Yes, sir, but... Um, so I'm... guard it with your life. It's my only copy. Yes, but I'm very busy, you see, sir. Uh, I mean... Well, I did do the conference at Barnes. The other one at Wolverhampton, so isn't it somebody else's turn? Get up, Bingham. Yes, I could take Bingham. Fine, thank you, Waring. <laughs> and by the way, do you happen to know if Bingham's passport's up to date? Passport? <laughs> yes, his conference is in Rome. Ten days. It's a pity you're too busy to come. Sir, I'm sure Bingham. <laughs> did you say that paper was on vagotomies? I did. Wow, well, look, I'd be very interested in to come, sir, because uh, I love vagotomies. <laughs> as long as they're not in Wolverhampton or Barnsley. <laughs> Imagine kicking me out like that in front of all those students. Look, Duncan told you to forget it. I know, but I can't. What did Loftus want? It wasn't about me, was it? No, no, no. no, no, no. I don't trust you. No, he wants me to help him with a conference day after tomorrow. Oh, oh serves you right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bad luck. How long for? Ten days. Oh, ten, ten days. Where is it this time? Huddersfield. <laughs> no, 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 no. Further south. Uh, south Huddersfield. <laughs> Rome. Rome? Uh, ten days in Rome? You he should take me. I could show him a few good sights in Rome. Well, he's not going to take an anaesthetist to a surgical conference, is he? He's going to ask a surgeon. Well, I'm a surgeon. <laughs> Look, it's not fair. It's our turn. I mean, you went to Wolverhampton. Yes, and Barnsley. Mm, and now Rome. Oh, don't. 
Ah, it is the cocktail hour. I'm joining you. I'll walk down there with you. Manuscript. Have you seen it? Why, is it good? No, no, have you found it? <laughs> have you lost it? Well, yeah, I put it down that desk not five minutes ago and it's not there. Are you sure? Yeah, no, look, you haven't taken it, have you? Me? Well, by mistake. No, I'm not going to the conference, am I? Oh, God. <laughs> well, I'm sure I put it there. He killed me, though, it's the only copy. <laughs> Duncan, uh, um, I've got to go on duty now, but um, tell you what I'll do. I'll ask around, and if I hear if anyone's got it, um, I'll let you know straight away. Oh, right, right. Thanks, mate. You're a pal. <laughs> hey, look, Paul. Uh, look, I'm very, very sorry about that business this morning. Almost forgotten. Great. <laughs> And uh, I was just wondering which way you uh, turned it, you know, to make it go on. <laughs> Where will it be this morning? Sir? I want to bring you the slides for the conference. Oh, well, I'll be in the Patrick's noon ward. Good. Uh, how are you getting on with the forgotten paper I gave you yesterday? Fine, fine. When can I have it back? Well, I'm, I'm still reading it. Good. Uh, tell me, what do you think of my highly selective theory? Um... <laughs> Well, I haven't actually got that far yet, sir. It's on page one. <laughs> Get a move on, man. Still got to be typed out. <coughs> Paul, I want you to think very, very hard now. Are you sure you haven't seen it? No. Oh, dick of you! No, I haven't. And will you shut up about that boring old rubbish? Yeah. I'm desperate. He's going to bring those slides down any minute now. What's he going to say when I found I've lost his rotten money? <laughs> <laughs> Brought the slide, sir. Good. <laughs> you were saying, Waring. Uh, sir? About losing my rotten manuscript. <laughs> no, no, you know, you came in at the middle of the conversation, sir. Have you lost it? Well, uh, no, not, not lost it exactly. No. Then where is it? <sighs> Temporarily mislaid. <laughs> you have lost it. No, 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 sir. No, I haven't. No, it's in the hospital. Yeah, somewhere. You know, I, I kind of put it down um, somewhere, uh, absent mindedly, and. Uh, well, well, I'm sure it'll turn up eventually, sir. Eventually, I must have it today. The conference is the day after tomorrow. Do you really need the manuscript, sir? <laughs> what? Yes, yes. Uh, I mean, couldn't you remember what's in it, um, approximately? <laughs> Guards wearing this conference is attended by legions of world-famous surgeons, such as myself. <laughs> I shall have to produce evidence to back up my conclusions. All the variables in the paper have been collated by the university computer unit. It would all have to be reprogrammed. There's no time. Mm. Yeah, well, I do see Sir Geoffrey's point, Duncan. It could be very embarrassing for him. And apart from anything else, the loss of that paper is a loss to posterity. It's brilliant. Yes, I know, sir. You know? How do you know? You haven't read it. Oh, it's by you. Sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> so find it! Oh, dear. What are you going to do? God knows! You could fill a notice on the board. What a great idea, right. Wanted, dead or alive, the loftiest papers. The most <laughs> wanted rubbish in St. Swithin. <laughs> no, 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 no point in joking about it, Dick. I shall offer a reward, money. That's a good idea. Yeah, I shall offer uh, uh, two quid. Oh, that's not enough. No, a fiver would be more like it. What? what do you think, Dick? Oh, I think two yeah, pounds. I, I think ten pounds, really. Ten? Oh, oh yes. come on, Paul, I'm not made of money. Well, it's worth it. We won that free trip to Rome, don't you? Yeah, that's two, right. Right, there we go. How's this? Wanted. Missing manuscript. Headed theories on selective vagotomy by Professor Geoffrey Loftus. Uh, Sir Geoffrey Loftus. Oh, yes. God, yes. Put that in there. Sir Geoffrey Loftus. 
If found, please return to Dr. Duncan wearing ten pounds reward. Great, there we are. Yeah. Here's a drawing pin. I hope you stick it up. Oh, cheers. Here you are. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a couple of hours free. I'm going to have a quiet All right. Good luck. Get it up, then. <clears throat> right. There we go. Now, let's hope that'll get some response, eh? Oh, yes, I'll respond to that. I have found the missing manuscript. <laughs> what? My name is Lobby Ludd and I claim the ten pounds reward. <laughs> What are you on about? You remember Lobby Ludd in the news oh, sod Lobby Ludd? Where have you found the manuscript? In the doctor's office, on the table, where you left it. But you tell me you hadn't got it. I was lying. Why? You hadn't offered any money yet. Oh, I don't believe... Why did you take it in the first place? Because I don't like you very much. <laughs> you're getting a bit big for your boots. What on earth are you... Oh, you're not still on about that operating thing. I was very hurt. But I said you thought you said it was all forgotten. I said almost forgotten. It is now. I'll get you the manuscript. Well, where is it? In my room. Oh, give me... Oh, sir, sir, sir. What's the matter, Waring? I suppose you've temporarily mislaid a patient now. <laughs> sir, good news, I found the manuscript. Good man. Well, Collier had nicked it, certainly, but, I mean, he found it, and it's in his room, and we're going to pick it up now. Good. I'll be in my office. Fine. OK. And I hope this little lesson will teach you not to be so pompous the next time. Well, you were the one that was showing off in front of those new students. Don't start again, you're not getting the manuscript. All right, all right, all right. Okay, fine. Right. Just give me the manuscript, I'll take it back to Loftus and no more bother. Say please. <laughs> what? Say please. Get stuck. Right. Oh, oh, come on. Say please. Oh, all right, please. Pretty please. <laughs> Nickers. Right? Oh, come on. Well, say please nicely. All right, please, please nicely. Ah. Please. Please. Thank you, thank you. Oh. You know, you really have me worried I'd never see that again. Yeah. yeah come on. The doctor's is waiting. <clears throat> Duncan, um, I'm very sorry, but it's gone. <laughs> come on, Paul, stop messing about. Duncan, I'm serious. I've lost it. What? <laughs> last night. How can you do this to me, Paul? First you steal the manuscript, now you're going to lost it. Well, it's not lost, it's temporarily mislaid. <laughs> It'll turn up eventually. Very funny. Amazing how all this rubbish accumulates. Are these to be thrown away as well, Sir Geoffrey? Yes, put them on the pile. I'll just carry on, shall I, Sir Geoffrey? Yes, you know what has to go. Come. Ah, oh, well, give it back before you lose it again. Uh, yes, well, sir, I was just wondering... Stop if, just um, wondering, it always causes trouble. Fine. I was just wondering if, uh, I mean, um, could we possibly, um... Keep it a bit longer? No, I want Miss Rogers to type out some copies before we have another catastrophe. Ah, well, talking about catastrophe, sir, um, Collier has something to say to you. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> what? I don't know. Tell me. Well, sir, I, I believe Waring told you the good news that uh, the manuscript was in my room. Uh, well, I I'm afraid he was wrong. Oh, when I say he was wrong, that's technically not right, because, in fact, he was right before he was wrong. But he is, in fact, wrong, but it's not right. You see, what I'm trying to say is... is, is that Collier! He's gone. Gone. Vanished. Disappeared. Where was it? Well, it was in my room. Then we will not search your room together. I was looking for Sir Geoffrey. Oh, isn't he here? Not unless he's hiding in the cupboard. 
Oh, yeah. uh, do you know where he is? I'm... It's very urgent. Well, he was here a moment ago. Would you like to wait? He probably just popped out. He should be back in a minute. Oh, well, I'll sit here. Sir Geoffrey's having his monthly clear out. He'll be longer than a minute, then. <laughs> I see what you mean. Where do you think you put it? Well, I don't think. I know you don't think. <laughs> Say, sir, I don't think. I know. I, I put it in one of those mag um, journals. Uh, over there, sir, on the table under the knickers. <laughs> you God. In which journal did you put... These aren't journals. The Lancet and the BMJ are journals. These are dirty magazines. They're not dirty magazines, sir. They're nature studies and picture books for men. <laughs> you put my masterpiece in a dirty magazine. Oh, they're not all dirty magazines, sir. Some of them have got very good articles in yes, them. Yes, if you'd like to borrow one, sir, please don't hesitate to borrow <laughs> Oh, why don't you both... Why don't you both drop dead? Sir, what a thing for a doctor to say. <laughs> <laughs> How many women in this room? What do you want, Clark? I'm very busy. Who's lost his manuscript again? <laughs> Are you trying to be funny? Who's been a silly boy and gone and lost his manuscript again? Oh, for God's sake, shut up, Clark. Here it is, sir, and very interesting it is, too. Where did you find it? In a girly ma... Uh, a journal I borrowed from Collier. Oh, thank you, Clark. Thank you very much. Not at all, sir. I know how worried you were. I'm extremely grateful. I have been reading it, sir. Most interesting. Really, Clark, do you think so? Yes, sir, and I'd like to read the rest sometime. Well, certainly. Maybe I should consider taking you as my assistant to Rome instead of wearing. You seem to show more interest. Well, I'd be honoured, Sir Geoffrey. <laughs> my Italian would come in very useful. You speak Italian? Oh, yes, sir, like a Dago. <laughs> Quanto tempo parlati italiano? <laughs> Sorry, sir? Quanto tempo parlati italiano? Absolutely, I quite agree. But, sir, could I take it now and finish it while I'm still in the mood? Well... I won't let it out of my sight, and I, I'm halfway through it already. Well, all right, I know it can't be lost again. Touch wood. But please be careful with it. I can assure you, Sir Geoffrey, it will be as safe as a nun in the Vatican. <laughs> Understand it. I just don't understand it. Well, then you better think harder. Are you sure you left it here? I'm sure somebody must have stolen it. No, but you stole it, mate. You stole it. I mean, after that, somebody must have come in here and stolen it. Oh, do stop <laughs> shouting. Well, we must be rational about the whole thing. Now, who would want to nick Loftus's manuscript? No one. Right. So, alternatively, who would want to nick a girly magazine? Dick. Dick. <laughs> Maniacs and dick out it here all the time. Yeah. Why would he deceive you like that? Well, you deceive me like that. I reckon he's after my trip to Rome. Come on, let's go and get it. Leave it on the desk. Okay, I'll put it there. There we go. Oh, it'd be a lovely surprise for him. Yeah, come on. Is that the lot, Miss Rogers? Yes, that's it, Sir Jeffrey. Fine. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Come in. Thank you. I didn't expect you back, yeah? 
forget how nice of you to read it so quick. Well, I haven't actually read it yet, sir. I came about something else. Ah? Uh -huh. Yes, I, I don't really know how to put this. So you... you know you said you didn't think it was possible to lose your manuscript again, Touchwood? Yes. Did you touch wood? <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, I didn't either, sir, but it seems to have mysteriously vanished. He got little fishes is the whole world conspiring against me. Is there a plot to steal my, my greatest work? Yes, it seems like it, sir. <laughs> How did you lose it? Well, it's a complete mystery. I, I have no idea. I, I took it to my room. I put it down on the desk. I was bleeped. And I went out. You went out? You left it alone in your room? Yes, well, I had to. I mean, I, I had no choice. I was bleeped. And then I came back and it was gone. I thought you might have it. How could I have it? I gave it to you. Well, you might have gone in to get it. I mean, he couldn't just walk away, could it? And no one else would want it or be remotely interested in it if it comes to that. Well, shut up, Jack. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> you promised me that it'd be as safe as... I just hope there aren't too many nuns in the Vatican. <laughs> Please come in. Could be. <laughs> Sir? Yes. Well, uh, Paul and I just thought we'd come and see how happy you were at getting your manuscript back. A joke in very poor taste, Wary. Sir? I haven't got it back, as you very well know. It's hard to credit, but one after another, each of you three clowns has lost it. Are you telling me this is your idea of a silly prank? No, no, sir. no sir. And there's no excuse at all. Well, not five minutes ago, I came in and left it right there on the desk. In that case, why is it not there now? Well, I've no idea, sir, but there was this big pile of papers. I put it smack on top of the oh. papers. Oh. <laughs> ah. Uh-huh. Um, you threw away your manuscript, sir? Oh, bad luck. Hard cheese, sir. Let me make this clear. If I ever find it, none of you is coming to Rome with me. I will take whichever member of the hospital staff has the intelligence to find it and return it. Feel free, feel free. Dr. Waring, look what I found. Oh, give that to me. No, I want to give it to Dr. Waring. Why? Why? Because I found the missing papers and I claim the ten pound reward. <laughs> She's lobby lud. <laughs> Since you found it, sir, will you be taking Florrie to Rome? Uh, no. <laughs> sir? He's taking me. <laughs> yeah, <it's really laughs> uh, don't worry, lads. I'll bring you back a load of baloney. Are we allowed to board after everyone else, sir? If you come from the VIP lounge, you're always allowed to get on last. Why were we in the VIP lounge, sir? Because I'm a VIP, of course. <laughs> Goodbye, goodbye to Rome. 